Tube is an independent podcast by gamers for gamers with your hosts Tobin and Yuzo. Hadouken! Hello, welcome back. This is February Wednesday, February 25th, and this is episode 133 of Noob Tube, a weekly independent podcast where I have finally put my Street Fighter Tournament arcade fight stick on eBay. I want to get some cash, and I'm getting some pretty weird offers. Wait, what do you mean weird offers? Well, I mean, this one guy, he wants to give me a whole year of back rubs for it. Oh, okay, that, that is pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it, dude. And this other guy, I don't get it, but he actually wants to be, he will give me two tickets to the Jonas Brothers and a signed CD. I mean, who the fuck listens to those guys? Lots of people do! God bless those abstinent little angels. Wait, what? Nothing. Dude, are, is this Ratchet Lover 75? Is that, uh... No, that's not me! Shut up! I'm Tobin Kazire. And I'm using Watsonabe. <laughs> This week, we are talking about a bunch of games. Street Fighter 4, Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War 2, Deadly Creatures, and House of the Dead, Overkill. And our new releases include... Ba -ba -da -da, 50 Cent, Blood in the Sand, Mother What? Game of the Year. Oh, yeah. Finally. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also some other game you might have heard of called Killzone 2. Um, and Dead Rising, Chop Till You Drop, oh, and excited. Puzzle Quest Galactrix. Hell yeah! As always, we'll have news, culture, and community section, but let's get started with our first game, Street Fighter 4. <laughs> ah, uh, the pimp cups are back. That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. um, but before we get started, we do have, of course, our sponsor, yep. UGTServers.com. You guys met them last week. Uh, yeah, the, the, the sign is down here, so... As we said last week, uh, UGT servers, they give uh, they do hosting for Ventrilo and yes. TeamSpeak servers. Yes. And uh, what they do is you basically you can use a code called NoobTube and get 15% yep. off. So with that, like you can get a 10-user server for a year for like 27 bucks. Yeah. It is That's pretty crazy. Super cheap. So any deals that they already have on the site, if you enter the code NoobTube, it gives you an additional 15% off no matter what the discount is already. Mm -hmm. And uh, they actually also power NoobTube's Ventrilo server. That's right. We have a 100-man server that we've been using for all of our MMO stuff. Uh, basically, anything that you can think of, we're using it, and we're using it on their servers. So yep. it's awesome stuff. We thank them very much. And we're very happy with their service. So we highly oh, yeah. recommend them. Give them a shot. Hell yeah. Um, shoot. Like, dude. So speaking of cool Whoa. shit happening. Um, yeah. So... Uh, as you guys heard in the, in the intro, you guys heard in the intro, the, the voice that introduced us today was actually Ryu yeah. from Street Fighter 4. It's the guy that plays Ryu. Yeah, so Kyle Hebert, uh, Hebert, Hebert, sure. Hebert, yeah, so he <laughs> he basically did that um, for us and he introduced it. I think it's amazing, especially considering we're talking about Street Fighter 4 yeah. today. Um, yeah, he does like a big, bald podcast. He does, broadcast. he has a weekly podcast. He's already on episode yeah. 100, so yeah. I mean, he's kind of sticking with him. It's, I mean, it's, no, it's, no, it's no 133, I'm just saying. <laughs> but uh, no, but that's very badass. Yes. He's super cool for doing that. Thank you very much, Kyle Hebert, for... Uh, for for being the, the voice of Ryan and introducing know, us. We need to get more celebrity intros for NoobTube. I oh, want to get... Yeah. Like game celebrity. Uh, yeah, like who, who was it that, that played Laura Croft in that one movie? We can get uh, her. Uh, yeah. That'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of... Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, I wonder how many times it took him to actually get the, the, the Hadouken! You know, I know. Like, the, like perfect. You know yeah, I mean? you got you got to imagine that he just had to sit and practice his Hadouken. Because he's got to basically like like as if you're like I don't know, laying a big sh like shit. Right? It's usually like Hadouken. It is. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, like it's kind of like a deuce. Like, basically, a little yeah. bit like a deuce. A big flaming Hadouken! ball of deuce. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, so Street Fighter Four. Street Fighter Four. It's finally out. Of, it is. Dude, we played it uh, months ago. Months ago on the PS3 at the uh, the what you call it? The, yep. Um, at the at the at the event at the launch event for yeah. that. So. Now it's out, and uh, the noob tubers mm. have been going crazy. If you look at people's Dude, Twitter ridiculous. streams, if you look at whatever, I mean, the, the, there's there's a lot of people, and a lot of people got their hands on sticks. Yes, not uh, as many as not they as want. many as they should. So like the thing is, right, the stick that I got, like I knew it was going, there was only going to be like three thousand or something yeah. like that, right? So I'm like, okay, whatever. I went to games, like went to Amazon, they were out. Went to GameStop, I'm like, ooh, there's one there. Yeah, I did it, and I got it, right? It was awesome. And then freaking now, if you look on eBay, they're going for like. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. I mean, people want oh. this stick so freaking bad yeah. because they just didn't make enough of them. I guess yeah. they thought, so, strangely, they thought that the demand wouldn't be as much because well, we, we talked were, to the guy. We talked to the guy that helped design it. Yeah, and he was talking to the Mad Cats guy. And Mad Cats guy was like, "Really? You really want to label all of the buttons inside?" Like, yeah. and they're like, "Yeah, trust me." And like, well, we don't want to make that many because we don't know. It's yeah. like a hundred fifty dollars stick. And he, said that he was, that he was arguing with them too. He said yeah. that you know they're like, "Oh yeah, and all this doing this internal labeling costs us an extra three cents per box, whatever." Yeah. But if you do it right, people will come. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. like you you brought out your stick uh, last yes. episode. 
It is solid as all yeah. hell. I mean, it just feels like a rock. And like they have the, the the feet that are supposed to be you know detachable, so you could drill into your desk That's if you right. want to. But it's it's heavy enough where you don't actually have to do that. Yeah. Uh, and all the buttons are great. I've been using it like crazy. You know, I've been unlocking characters and all other stuff. But um, but but overall, like apparently even the seventy dollars stick, which apparently has a lot of problems, yeah, uh, is still selling like crazy. So tell me about the experience of playing online. Like uh, oh, I haven't. Yeah, yeah. So I, I've been I've been in that weird min- middle space where. I kind of want to play, but I only want to play with a stick. Because, I mean, when we played before, I, I really... It was okay. Yeah. But, but when I was on the stick, it felt like home. Like, it was just, like, I love the feel of it. So, kind of like feeling like when you're playing with a pad, you didn't yeah. want to spend the $60 to play... To have that experience of playing on the pad. Right. Because, yeah. basically, to play this game correctly, I'm going to need to drop $200, right? I'm going to need the stick, and I'm going to need the game, which is $200. So you don't necessarily need... Like, again, there are other... other um, What is it? Other sticks out there, right? There's the Hori sticks. Yeah. There's the uh, Soul Calibur 4 stick. Yeah. These are all, like, 60 70 bucks. So, if you wanted yeah. to, you could. So, I can, I can hop in. So, be, but, so I haven't in. done it yet, so yeah. I want to I hear about it, though. So okay. tell me what so, it's like. A couple of problems, issues, okay. right? So like we only played it was like one on one at the events, and you know we played all that stuff. But um, the online experience actually kind of sucks. Really? Well, well, no, no, and not the playing part. It's yeah. actually getting together the, to the play somebody. So the matchmaking, what you do is so what what I had problem was was like I, I would try to find a match, mm-hmm. and they just show you three. Okay. And you pick one, and like every single time I pick one, it's just like could not fill or match full, could not uh, connect to match. And I'm like, well, okay, that's annoying. And yeah. like, maybe it's just a little hiccups or whatever. So when I create a match, immediately somebody pops in, we start playing. So that's just fine. That's fine. But, you know, it's just like I want to play with a bunch of noob tubers, right? Yeah, yeah. So I went to IRC, which is, you know, typically what, what everybody does. Right. I went to IRC, and like I'm, I'm saying, okay, let's play. It's like, okay, I have to send you an invite okay. in a game, and then we play. And we play like two or three matches, and I'm like, <clears throat> Especially when I'm beating them or if they're beating me. Or it's it's like, the fun. skill level is just like, okay, so you know, whatever. It's like, I want to play somebody else. I have to quit. Mm. Go and then ask somebody else to send an invite. So there's no, mm. there's no lobbies. Yes, you need like a you need a lobby kind of, of like one of these eight. yeah a lobby that's like a named lobby you know like the yes. new lobby and everybody hops in and the exactly. people can kind of challenge each other. Yes. You can set up ad hoc tournaments. Well, that's there's yeah. eight people in there like okay there's eight of us tournament and it's like okay you two you two you two you two exactly. Did you ever play the uh, the Street Fighter Two uh, Turbo Remix edition? Yes. So it had one built in. Yeah. Right. So you would get in a, a lobby of eight. It would bracket everything together and then everybody would play and all that. And I'm just like and that is not rocket science. No. Well, it's rocket science enough so that they're still waiting. So they're actually going to give that to Street Fighter Four. But it's oh. coming as DLC. Is it going to charge? No, for it's going to be free. Okay, no, I was going to say <laughs> no. They charge for basic been... functionality. They're like, yeah, yeah. Um, it's four dollars for us to unfuck your game. How about yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like that. That would have been huge, yeah. like a huge misstep. But so no, they're, they're, they're doing the right it. thing. They're, they're bringing. They're bringing it. it. We don't know when. Okay. Uh, it's apparently like you know in what is it validation certification? I mean, this game's all about playing other people. I, I mean, know, like seriously, have you been playing much single player? Well, I did play single player all... because you have to do it to unlock characters. So I haven't unlocked that. I did with Vega all the way through. But dude. Dude, like, <laughs> like default is medium, yeah. and there below, below medium there are three levels of easy. There's easiest, easier, and very easier. Pink, like pink, pink armband, pink armband, and various colors of pink. But no, seriously, it's just like, like I play on a medium, and yeah. I got and I got like halfway, and I'm like, wow, I, I couldn't get past like a few characters. Yeah. I'm like, oh, wait, let me try easier. Yeah. Right. I got all the way to Seth, who's the last guy. Could couldn't not, beat him. Could not beat him. Could couldn't do it. So this is this has been kind of engineered for the hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then, like, I talked to some, I talked to some people. I'm like, "What do you? How do you beat them?" It's like, "Oh, you put it on the very easiest setting." Wow! So they made it. They made it hard. Like he's that sounds like cheap. like yeah. That sounds maybe unplay tested hard. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's you know, there's obviously going to be people out there on YouTube who are like, whatever. Like, I played on medium or I played on hard, and I was able to beat everything. Yeah. And I'm like, well, obviously, like, I don't know all the hit boxes for all the characters, right, right. and I don't, you know. So don't are you know getting into the? Are you getting into the flow of the uh, the special attacks with the three yeah. buttons? Yeah, at yeah, time? definitely. I mean, like, yeah. you're really starting to kind of get the feel. For so all let me that. go to the cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, so the training mode that's in here is fantastic. Oh, cool. So what you do is uh, they actually they made a game out of it. So you would go into the training room, yeah. and then basically they would say, here's all the challenges you have. This challenge is do a, do you know just do kicks. Okay. Do, like do beat somebody with just kicks? Well, no, not beat somebody. Just like perform these set of kicks uh, in a row okay. because that's a combo you are going to rely on as your bed and butter. Nice. So they would do that. Okay, do this. Do the you know the fierce punch, heavy kick, hurricane yeah. kick combo. I'm teaching you how to, how to chain this shit together. Exactly. And they would do that. And you basically uh, you get achievements as a result of that. You get all these unlockable uh, nice. titles and all nice. that. So it's like really cool. But then at the very end, you can get like – Titles those, like Reverend? Uh, yes, Reverend. <laughs> Rab- Rabbi Yuzo. <laughs> Dude, they have some hilarious titles. Actually. Really? Well, they have titles specific for uh, characters. Okay. They have titles just for general stuff. They have titles so for shocky, achieving... So Shocky Blanca. Shocky Blanca. <laughs> <laughs> I think like Cheese is, is one of them for uh, for Blanca. But no, it's, it's really cool. And Sissy you, Vega? Yes. Yeah, beautiful Vega. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, pretty. Fabulous, right? Fabulous, that's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I think there actually might be one. But uh, no, so you can, uh, what you can do is you can unlock uh, icons yeah. and then titles. And you can set those so when you play, they'll say like, oh, you're fighting fabulous – you know, whatever. Nice. So you can, you know, it's all customizable. That's very cool. So they they really did a good job on all the unlockables. They really did a good job on that. And the actual game itself, you, I mean, you would play it, oh, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's excellent. It's stunning. It's so, so have, you, have you noticed a lot more shit with, like, the backgrounds like we were seeing where they're kind of sneaking stuff? I guess you don't have a chance, really, right? really, no. Because no. you're fighting. You know, yeah. Like, the only time I ever noticed the weird, like, Balrog standing in a plane mm-hmm. shit was when you were playing. And I was just like, whoa, what? Yeah. Just knock the wing off that airplane. Well, I know how to do all my ultras now. So, yeah. the, so the, the the whole ultra system is actually kind of interesting. Yeah. So, um, you know, you have your different levels of uh, of uh, not pow. You know, it's it's the ex yeah. ex meters, and you can basically supercharge any of your individual attacks and then make it a little bit more damaging, mm. right? You kind of glow yellow or something like yeah, yeah. that. But then you have um, the the super attack, which is filling up another bar for some reason. It's a different move. Yeah. Then you have the ultra. That's the one where everything the shakes ultra and like, mega donkey punch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I think that's actually how you get the f- fatal. You know, all the, not the fatalities, but all the special things yeah. to happen. You do the ultra. I was digging that, some so. of those when you like opening your yin yang yep. chest and sucking people in. Yep, yep, that's yep. that cool. So, so yeah, the fight system's great. Um, they also have this thing called a, a, a focus move, yeah. which is weird. So you press the two middle buttons. Mm-hmm. Okay, so th- when you do the first middle button, so you jump right. Yeah. Um, I do the and then basically I am invulnerable. Oh. So you can like punch me with normal punches and like nothing will happen. Because you're focused? I'm focused, right? Yeah. I'm like, ooh, right? But by the end of it, I'm like, boop. And then if you go all the way to the end of your focus, yeah. it's an unblockable attack. Ooh. So they have to run away basically while yeah. you're doing the focus. But thing. there are focus breakers. Nice. Special moves of so this each is character. Like, this is like freaking fight chess. Yeah. That's cool. Except really fast. Yeah. You know, like if you had a little, if you had a little <laughs> clock, it'd be like. Speedy fight chess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that so, sounds um, great. Yeah. So it's, a, it's an excellent game. Uh, Capcom, please fucking fix. Yeah. The tournament mode. It's I, all about online. That's, the, that's what's preventing me from playing from multiplayer a lot. Okay. I played a little bit, and it's just like I got, I got annoyed. Yeah. So it yeah. sounds like it's coming. It sounds like it's coming. And uh, for the record, Sunflower is putting together yes. this thing that he's calling Sunflower's Dojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you know is, it works? Uh, which is, no, no, no. How's it going to work? Uh, so he's putting it together, and basically, I think it's Veritas, Sunflower, and Locke, I believe. Mm-hmm. So they're all taking somebody under their wing. Right, and then do, they do a match, and basically they to, to get different levels of belts, they yeah. have to do certain moves. Yeah. So it's almost like a uh, a personal trainer yeah. of sorts. For, that for is Street awesome. Fighter. So um, yeah, so like this is what the mods will do for you guys. They'll so, like, just be like, take the P from my hand. You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they get the, you know the chopsticks, and you have to catch flies <laughs> and shit. It's just it's ridiculous. Yes. We gotta do like a noob tube theme one though. You know, so it's just like, like what? you have to dodge the chainsaw on a stick. You know. <laughs> Drink enough wine. Drink an entire box of wine. Just like sitting down with your chi, focusing your anti-drunk chi. Hell yeah. Um, So it sounds like you're giving a big Uh, thumbs up. It's going to be a huge thumbs up, but um, really to be a a super duper, like, you know, amazing game, you need that online. Absolutely need it. Gotcha. So next up is uh, Warhammer 40K Dawn of War 2. Yeah. So So this this has been causing you uh, basically to not sleep for the last week. No. So this game is is the entire epicness that, that... I've been expecting. Yes. Because right? we were playing, the, we were playing, uh, what is it, the um, the uh, three-on-three for mm. a little while, right? Kind of like, you know, kind of getting into it. But once I got into the campaign, this campaign is freaking epic. Yeah. Um, like, how much did you play? Have you played any of the single-player stuff at all yet? Yeah, or yeah. A little bit, I yeah. So, some like, of it. So, like, what, 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 is, what is it all about? Like, what's the whole deal? So, you're... Uh, you're, you're, you're a set of crack marines, and then they basically start setting you up to... First, you're on this planet where you start training against yep. the aliens, and yep, then yep, yep. you're building up to be like Kill super orcs, mega warrior to f- use, you know, like you're fighting for the humans against the yeah. aliens. Well, yeah, because the, 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 I believe the Tyranid are coming, right? Yes. So they're kind of like the, what is it, the Zerg, yeah. the, the, what's the thing in Half Life? Oh, uh, well, head crabs, but I don't, well, know, head, I don't know what the race no, is no, called. No, no, the Flood. The Flood. Ah, the Flood. So, no, that was actually Halo, sorry. I don't know. Damn I don't it. know what the fuck. The scary head face crabs is all I know. Yeah, those. but um, but yeah, so it's, it's alien characters. But like the the what is it? The campaign is really epic because no. you you would go and it's almost um, it's almost like kind of like risky, like risk. Yeah. So you would go and you would see the uh the, the different areas you can go. You could pick two or three different levels or two or three different uh campaigns. Yeah. You would go in, you go into a map, you go and try to do everything. You come back out, and if you got one of the uh, communication towers, it would actually help you in other maps. Yes. So you'd actually go and try to get these different resources. It's like they also reward you on uh what is it the, the like how fast you do it. Oh. So you get these star ratings, right? Yeah. You, so if you get five stars, if you do it really fast, if none of your guys die or get KO, uh. and how many guys you kill. Oh wow. If you, get nice. all, if you get all five stars, yeah. then you get extra deployments. Oh, okay, yeah. So then every day, you can do multiple deployments. Because like, otherwise, you have to pick and choose. And if you pick that, and like, if the Tyranar are attacking this other uh, world, you 
you either that or you want to you know go get go after this fat loot or kill this monster. It's like you got to choose. Yeah. So if you do really well, you can do both basically uh, within a day because there's this constant pressure. Yeah, I saw for, that word because they're they're like you know deployments remaining today one yeah. and you're you're choosing you're picking mm-hmm. you're like going all over the planet and, and then every planet has is a uh, turned infestation. Oh. So if you like concentrate on one, then the other one will. will Get basically get too hard. Get I, I, I don't know what happens. Yeah, like I honestly don't know. But it's just like it's the things about it's so epic. The the RTS levels are all really v- you know very varied. Yeah, right. You get all these different um, things. Like how much did you like the uh, the the multiplayer stuff? Uh, the multiplayer I did I did enjoy a lot. I liked I liked when we would team up. Um, it was me, you, and Locke. Mm-hmm. We played a couple games, um, and I it, you know you can get in there and you fight versus the computer, and it's kind of fun if you especially if you get on the headsets and you're like okay you know I'm coming from the top, you hold the middle, you come up from the bottom, yeah. and then and you know, you'd kind of. I, I was enjoying also the aspect of people surprising each other with their deployments, where like somebody yeah. shows up and you're like, check out what I got, and the guy's like, motherfucker, <laughs> you know, just like come stomping on the scene. You like, you get yeah. the big, big dudes. Yeah, the and It's just kind of fun to see what the other people would be doing that you're playing with. Yeah, absolutely. And like not only that, you can like call for help. You can say, hey, I need you know some anti tank yeah. over here, and then you would just send it all over. So, um, you know, I'm hoping I'm hoping we can actually do more one on ones and three versus threes because yeah. right now. Right now, I'm seeing some people do it, and we actually have an event coming up where uh, new tubers are are, are going to be playing together. Yes. So it's just like you know, hey, let's get some three on threes going. Let's yeah. get all this other stuff. But it's just like you know, I can go into like way too ridiculous detail with <laughs> RTS things, and, like all the different um, power ups that you can get, all the yeah. different things. But it's just it is an amazing game. And the thing is, this game does not make me makes me like not care about StarCraft at this point. Wow. No, seriously, it's just like. This uh, this game's gonna last me for for months. Yeah, and I'm like Starcraft. Like I, I know it'll be good. You're like, you're like I'm excited, but I've kind of got what I need. Right? It's Pretty like much. the itch is being scratched. Yeah. So it's just like I don't I don't know if I'm gonna gonna really be impressed because like, you know yeah. it's gonna be very Korean in that case, right? It's yes. Gonna, not Korean. Very original Starcraft. They're gonna be. <laughs> they're gonna be really big on uh, you know zerging. They're gonna be really good on micro. You know, um, build yeah. orders. All the stuff that you yeah. hate. You, you know that they're they're basically gonna be aiming this at uh, what. Because I mean, the thing is, is you know, a lot of people played StarCraft and they stopped. Yeah. But the people that they want are the people that didn't stop. <laughs> no, they want no, the no, people no. that for the last decade have been playing StarCraft every day. Yeah. And you know, this this kind of went in a different direction. This is like, all right, you know, we're trying yeah. a different type of RTS that's not super micro. Well, there's some micro to it, but it really is more strategic because yeah. you're not, you know, you're not so spending all your time trying to build your economy. Right. You're trying to capture points. You're trying to, you know, basically get. Uh, it's a very counter based. It's like mm-hmm. if you see them building a lot of tanks, you then upgrade your tactical marines to have right. missile launchers and right. you know, that kind of stuff. So it's so very for the breakdown reactioning. of like time play that you've been doing. Do you feel like I mean, are you mostly single player? Have you been doing a lot of multi? Like, or so I've been doing I've been doing like all three. I'm doing single player of the yeah. campaign. I've been doing co op campaign. I did nice. a five hour session yeah. uh, the other night, which was ridiculous. Yeah. And lock you fucking grenades, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, it's hilarious. It's like we would be going like, okay, go over there and go attack because you'd have four squads and you split them up. Like, okay, I'm gonna go over here. I would go and I would see him throw a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> and kill my guy and I'm like it happened like three times on purpose like, no he... no because like, he would see a group of guys he would just toss a grenade and I'm like well I got my jumpers and I'm like yeah. Psh. so like other times I'd be jumping and I'd like see the grenade and, I'd, <laughs> and the other time was just like I see a huge mass of guys I'm like oh I'm gonna get my force commander because he has a little like running yeah, yeah. thing I'm like oh I'm gonna send him over there and then I, I sent him over there and then right when he got there you see that little uh, outline of, of red for the orbital strike yeah yeah and I'm like oh oh no oh no <laughs> <laughs> so yes, communication is key. Yes. But but co-op, I mean like the the kind of experience you get from this this co-op in RTS I have never seen. Mm. Cuz it's a co-op RTS. Yeah. Seriously, like you have four units and you're each controlling two instead of normally cuz that's the problem that you had with it, right? You were right. you were like when with four units during the campaign it got a little crazy. It did. I mean, that's the thing is I I I was really enjoying it. I enjoyed when we did the co-op before and I was like, "Oh, I'm going to go through the single player." And I was I was playing and I kind of started getting that that feeling that I got from StarCraft back in the day where I started uh getting tired of it where I would, I would, I'd be running up and there's, you know, like I'd be controlling all four units mm-hmm. and then I'd be having these two units. And I'd be directing them to do something while the enemy would toss a grenade at my other guys. And it's like, they're yeah. not going to fucking move. They don't yeah. do anything by themselves. So it's not like they're like, Oh shit, there's a grenade between my legs. I'm going to move. No, <laughs> they just stand there and wait to die. So unless you're, unless you're, you're popping back and forth all the time yeah. for all four units, you kind of, I, for me, I mean like some people really dig it. It sounds yeah. like you're still not even tired. Like no, you're still, no, with when, so that's my problem too. When I, actually go through the campaign by myself yeah. I'm playing with four units it's almost too overwhelming okay. because every unit has like four special abilities right that's the thing it's are, not you know just I mean? send them somewhere no. it's like you know you can send them somewhere and then do a demolition pack you yeah. can get these guys upgrading this you can even exactly. you know at the end of each level you can decide that armor is going to these guys yep. but this gun is going to these guys exactly yeah, yeah so it got to the point where 
but then I was I was telling you about it. I'm like, dude, I'm feeling frustrated. I'm not yeah. enjoying the game as much. And you're saying, you know, really try the co-op. Yep. Uh, sync campaign stuff because then you're controlling two squads. Yep. And it's like, you know, this guy's going here, this guy's going here, and you're kind of able to watch that a grenade lands yeah. here. You, it's these almost guys like you have around. a smart AI controlling the other yes, two. Yes, right? that's right. Cause you, cause that's you are my AI. That's right. Because, yeah. I mean, you go here, it's just like, so there's some things where you have to go say, okay, i got to set my Devastator, set my Arc of Fire here, mm -hmm. I've got to cloak my scout, go all the way around, toss a death pack at this thing, yeah. i got to get my Force Commander and heal these guys, yeah. and then i got to get... It's just like... With you four, sounded so nerdy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Warhammer, dude. Awesome. Oh, I, love so awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. So anyhow, so yeah, it's just like, it, yeah. it, all that shit, it was actually too much for me. Yeah. So I don't know if I, because I've been, I have, yes, different save games. You can basically invite anybody to play in any uh, of your save that's games. That's cool. That's To really take cool. over. So like my single player one, I, I'm probably going to stop. I'm yeah. just going to say, hey, you know. Just, just want to just, just do co-op. It's co-op. I mean, yeah. this game and the um the one-on-one -on -one and the three-on-three. -three. That's yeah. actually really good, but people are damn good, dude. Already. Like, I'm serious. Like, I go and I lose one out of, I lose, actually, I win one out of five matches. It's it's painful. Yeah. So yeah, no, that's good learning Working. experience. <laughs> that's right. But well, game, cool. So huge big, thumbs up. Uh, big thumbs up. I think it's fifty bucks on Steam, dude. Yeah. It's, it's totally worth it. Absolutely. Um, and and like I said, I'm I'm gonna keep at it. Um, I did I did like I'm still giving it a thumbs up because every time I played co-op, I've enjoyed. It. I just need yes. to play more co-op because the single player was kind of biting at me. It was, uh -huh. it was it was tearing me down. And so you have gonna, no interest in the one on one stuff, right? Not really. Yeah, yeah, I'm 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 really all about co op in yeah. these things. I mean the, the you you are much more the the target audience, so pretty much. Yeah, but we'll do we'll do co op again at some point. For sure. Um but the next game I think is gonna be our is it game of the year? Game of the year? It might be. It might be Dude, shit, Deadly dude. Creatures. <laughs> Holy shit. This is another this is like flower. This is one of those yeah. things where if you go back yeah. and you watch a review, like, what the fuck is this shit? You're going around. What's the game? What's the game? You, you know? I think I'm getting a little tired of crow. I, I know. Really I'm, I'm eating I so am. much crow. It's, it's, just, it's just... My own words, to just, they <laughs> taste like bitterness and pain. But what, what were you going... Like, what was your expectations going into this game? Because I, I was thinking, like, Deadly Creature is going to be a fucking kid's game. I thought it'd be goofy. I yeah, thought it'd like, be goofy. Really I thought it was just, like, just kind of like one of these things where they're, they're going around... like. Well, actually, I said what I thought it would be like. I thought it would yeah. be like that stupid underwater game. The, uh, the oh, Endless Ocean. Endless Ocean. Do you think where, more educational? Yeah, I did. I thought that Seriously. you'd go up as a scorpion. They're like, the ground worm lives for 47 <laughs> days in near darkness. So and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So you're thinking Discovery Channel colon that's, Deadly Creatures. I, I really yeah, did. Okay. I thought that it would be something like exploration, maybe. Actually, I really didn't know. I just yeah. thought, oh, that looks kind of dumb. It's funny you play as a scorpion. I'll try it out. Yeah, why not? But what's it like? Dude, the game, it, it's serious. It's actually serious. It's, it's, it's dark. It's, it's dark. It's, it's an adult game that yep. doesn't rely on, on, on bad language yeah. to be an adult or blood or gore. Yep. It's basically the tone. The tone of it is just like, wow, I, I, I don't think I would want my kid to play this. And there's not a single bad word, no sex, yeah. or anything like that. But it's just like, it's, it's kind of a bummer. It's yeah. like depressing. It feels like that Coen Brothers movie. Uh, the one uh, with Which the, one? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, no Country for Old Men. No Country for Old yeah, Men. It's, yeah. it's very similar to that feel where huh. two dudes have killed a guy. Yes. Um, and I'm not going to go into too much more than that no, no, because no. that's, I mean, it's a game with plot. Yeah. Shockingly enough, but, but you're a fucking plot. scorpion <laughs> <laughs> and you're a tarantula. I'm like, I'm not going to give away the plot. No. <laughs> But no, there's two guys, and I'm like, wow, that that voice sounds familiar. Billy Bob Thornton. And who's the other guy? The other guy was uh, was it Ed, Ed Harris? No, it was somebody else. So famous, right? Yeah, two 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 good actors. I'm like doing these voices. It's funny. Yeah. And and then so then you're like, okay, whatever. But then the gameplay. Yeah. Is actually fun. I, I wouldn't have believed because you're playing a tarantula, and yeah. for the most part, if you think about it, it's a very simplistic game. Yes. Right? You are going from point A to point B. There's not. There's a couple of places where you kind of branch off, but you'd branch off for a really quick short end and go out. But the yep. thing is, you're like in this world where it's all underground. Yeah. There's trees. There's other bugs. And the feel it's, of your character yeah. too. You scurry. You really yeah. do. You, you scurry and you scurry through little tunnels and you and you fight little animals and you kind of get into this mindset. <laughs> you'll be playing. I'm a tarantula. <laughs> you'll be playing. It's like ha ha. Yeah, ha. <laughs> What's that over there? And then you kill a bunch of dudes, yeah. and they're like, "Oh, you just learned the the poison move. You just yeah. learned shooting webs. You just yeah. learned." The fucking stealth pounce. I have not got the stealth pounce. The stealth no, pounce I need to get the stealth oh, pounce. The stealth oh. pounce. You actually get this thing where you can point the Wiimote at the screen, and uh -huh. then you can get a red target pointing at an enemy. Oh, like with the web. Yeah, Like yeah. with the web, but then you pull the thing. Uh -huh. He leaps across the screen. He's like, whoa! And, it, and sometimes, yeah, like yeah. one out of three or four times, it'll turn the camera from the point of view of what you're attacking. <laughs> so you, he's That's sitting so there, awesome. and then you see yeah. like, 
<laughs> like the fucking oh, tarantula Jesus comes Christ. in and you just go in and you're like, you know, like yeah. when you get back in the battle mode. And like what I really love about the fact is like, like you know, a lot of the Wii games, what they'll do is with any of the uh, attacks or anything like that, you're going to be like waggling constantly. Yep. With this one, it's hit the button, hit the button with, yep. you know, three combo. Occasionally you do the swing. With but a it's, special attack. Yeah, with a special attack. Yeah. Exactly. So and like for the most part, it's just like it, it felt like the controls felt very unlike any other Wii game that I played. Yeah. They, they were very tight because yeah. the thing is they have to be. You You... This game starts out and you're like, oh, this is kind of interesting. Oh, this is kind of fun. And then it ratchets up very quickly in the mm. difficulty where there'll be like three other spiders, mm. some, some dudes flying in. They'll, be, they'll, mm-hmm. they'll have, you know, other the, tarantulas. They'll have snakes coming in. And yeah. the fights get hard. Yeah. And, you know, you actually have to have this timing where they swoop in and you, you learn the different bombing attacks. And these guys are like, oh, he's coming in for this low attack. I got to get out of the way because I can't block it. Yeah, you know? yep, yep, yep. Well, I mean, like, I was fighting Gila monsters. I yeah. was fighting. And the awesome thing about it is, like, they didn't be, they weren't stupid in saying, like, yes, a spider can beat a snake or by sorry, can get a Gila. Because there's no way. Never going to yeah. happen, right? Never going to happen. The thing is, it's like, you got to survive long enough to dodge escape. the fucking <laughs> snake attack. The snake, the best thing is, is, you get to this thing where you dodge the snake and the snake goes and it tries to bite a cactus. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, ah! <laughs> You're like, yes. <laughs> but, I mean, in, oh, in all man. honesty, we were thinking this game would be fun ironically. Yeah, but it's... It's actually genuinely fun. I shit you not. Yeah. Like, I am, I'm very much enjoying this game. I, I, you know, like, when we're going to be compiling our, our best of games on the Wii list, it's like, this is easily going to be in the top three or five. Especially I mean, because there ain't shit coming out on the no, Wii. No, no, no. <laughs> well, there's Mad World. So yes. we gotta, we gotta Mad World's going to be up there. Uh, um, probably uh, Dead Rising will be up there. Yes, Dead Rising, which came out. But, but um... I mean, I, I can I can genuinely recommend this game because it's yeah. it's totally different than yep. than anything that you will have played on the Wii for sure. Yep. It has exactly what we asked for in games, which is direct progression. You start off with a simple mm-hmm. attack, you learn a better one, you learn another one, you learn a chain, yeah. you chain the other one. You learn moves, you learn basic basic things, which is that you open up areas into other areas, yes. right? With the digging, with the uh, with the scorpion, and yep. all sorts of stuff. And they change it up constantly. You go from one level, you're tarantula. Yep. Next level, you're scorpion. Back to tarantula. So who's your favorite? I like them both. Really? I, they're you both can't different. Pick? You can't pick? So, I think the tarantula. My, my dad, yeah, I like the tarantula the best. <laughs> Especially because yeah. you start getting these crazy attacks later yeah. where it's like, you know, the scorpion's a badass. He'll fucking whip yeah. up on people, but the tarantula, you can you can spray your net in people's eyes yep, yep, and yep. they get all confused. You can do the stealth fucking ninja have you, leap. Have you fought, a, like, well, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I'll give away, but I'm, I'm curious if you've ever, like, Interact with humans not at some yet. point. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. No, I've played a lot. Really? So, okay. And that's the other thing is, is we're not huh. going to go – I'm not going to go into any details because this will spoil the plot like I said before. Yeah. But it's going somewhere. Yeah. This game actually has – you'll be walking. Not only will you be just fighting shit, but yeah. then the, the humans will be walking over you yeah. and you'll hear them talking yeah. about what they did. Like, oh, I killed this guy. I buried yeah. this, blah, blah, blah. And – it's interesting. I know. It's like they. I remember hearing talking about that, and like, I actually got chills. Like, I would actually walk in. I'm like, oh, like, yeah, we, where would we bury him, or something like that. And I, and then I fucking see a, like a femur. Yeah. And I'm like, holy sh! I, walking. I'm walking in his rib cage, yes. basically, of the guy that they buried. And yeah. I'm like, the, the tie-ins are like unlike I've, anything I've seen. Really, yeah. seriously. And it, it, it's very somber. Yeah. And it's, it's like it's really early, s- so I'm not giving anything away. Yeah. So I mean. It, the the atmosphere oh. and the play are yeah. all just very well done. Does it, doesn't it almost feel like a, a God of War clone though, in some in some aspects? Because it feels like because you know you're you're killing things, you're getting points, and then you're unlocking yeah. other points with that. Because it seems to me like this game is one of the few God of War clones that that did it right. Yeah, I, it, I, I, everybody else. You have the Rise of the Argonauts. You have all these other ones, which basically are, you know all the other ones. They try to copy and they're like, okay, we're just going to take the God of War thing and then put it in a mythological thing. Like right. take any story, make a God of War. I can see that because the thing yeah. is, they didn't in any. It doesn't in any way feel derivative. Because yeah. a lot of these games, exactly. you'd be like, oh, they took this, yeah. they took this. And we could say that this is God of War E and that you get abilities and yeah. that they level up. But, I mean, it doesn't feel like they took anything because it's not yeah. like you're choosing what to level up like you do in God of War. Mm, it's true. all out of your control. It's I mean, true. it's just kind of a, 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 a straightforward progression. Yeah. But if you you can avoid battles. And mm-hmm. if you avoid battles, you don't get new attacks, right? I mean, like yeah. it's all very direct. Like You get choices in this game. Mm. And so I agree with you that they did it right in that I never thought that they'd ripped it off. Yeah. Yeah, and which is I mean. very cool. Yeah, so um, yeah, excellent game. Um, like I'm impressed, and I, dude, I hope, I hope this doesn't do another boom blocks where like nobody buys it. I know, because that would suck. Every time we go, and we just like suck. recommend these games, like this is the best game ever, and oh. like yeah, it sold fifty thousand copies. Yeah. or something. Boom blocks was bad. It was like forty thousand copies. I know. Was... And Dead Space sold maybe didn't even break five hundred thousand. Yeah. I think so. It's just like oh. So, but the thing is, we also get lots of comments on YouTube, and guys are like, hey, if it wasn't for you guys, I never would have tried blah. I never would have yeah. tried this game. I love it. I play it every day. So I mean, luckily we're getting these things where uh, people are listening yeah, and people are, are you know, kind of taking our words into account and they're actually 
you know, finding games they wouldn't have otherwise yes. tried. And like for this one, I think it's going to be long enough. Maybe a buy, maybe. Yeah. Um, but definitely a rental if, if you're not even. If yeah, you I rented it. I mean, I, yeah. I I rented it. I don't know if I would say buy it, but the thing is, is it might I'm, be cheaper I'm, though. It might be like a forty-ish. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. So. Yeah. Who knows? But I mean, the thing is, is I'm. I definitely have put in like six to eight hours, and yeah. I'm obviously not at the end yet. So yeah. it's it's got good. It's got good play time. So yeah, excellent. Big thumbs up. Last up, <clears throat> House of the Dead Overkill. So this is another Wii game. Uh, we shooter. Um, we shooter. I think my, so what do you think about the game? <laughs> so. I was surprised. I didn't huh. know what to expect. So I've played really? all the House of the Dead games yeah. in the arcades. And the arcade is usually kind of just straightforward. It's a horror thing. They're just yeah. like, oh, it's there's... Time Crisis with Zombies. Exactly. Really. Except yeah. uh, it's Time Crisis with Zombies, except it doesn't have the elements of Time Crisis that I like in that you're usually not able to duck. It's just mm, you're gotcha, on rails. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There's no avoiding. There's yeah. no... I mean, it's it's definitely... It's like kind of Time Crisis for, for slow kids, yeah, in my I opinion. I've right, always yeah. thought it was like Time Crisis light. I yeah. t- like Time Crisis better. Huh. But this one, what they did is they said, we're ditching the whole formula. Yeah. The whole Which formula is, is usually... It's a cop, and they're in a mansion, and the mansion's the girl haunted. of some sort, yeah. But this one, they're like, all right, fuck it. We're doing a 70s exploitation film. Yeah. <laughs> And we're gonna we're gonna have every cliche, and we're gonna do it over the top. Really bad acting, really bad writing, but but on pur- purpose, yeah. Yeah. right? Um, so I thought that the, it kind of it kind of refreshed the formula for me. It really? did, yeah. See, for me, it's just like I kind of enjoyed this the, the House of the Dead the games for the most part. I mean, I like Time Crisis better, but mm-hmm. you know, I like what they were doing. Okay, they're gonna be going, you're shooting zombies, everything's great. But with this one, it's just like after you know, kind of after Tarantino did that, uh, the Tarantino did and was like it? Death Proof, Death and... Proof, and all that. It's just yeah. like that kind of like genre just seems a little bit played out to me. I was telling you about this earlier, right? Yeah. I'm just like, it's like if they took out that whole storyline, if they took out over that, it's it's actually a fun shooting game. To it's me. surprisingly it's fun. Like, it's it's an on rail shooter, but yeah. you, know, you know what it reminded me of? Uh, it reminded me of that one game. Uh, shoot, a Max Area Fifty One. Oh yeah, it yeah. felt exactly like because basically you know you go you swing around a lot. Sometimes you swing around, and you have the special power up like just for a brief second. Very, very quick. So you've got to memorize yeah. the map, so you got to shoot the right things. Just yeah. like like that, and that was good. It was a fun game. Right. So I mean, that's the thing is is. It's, it's kind of what you're in the mood for. I mean, yeah. like, I, I actually didn't see Death Proof because oh. <laughs> it didn't look very interesting to me. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. Um, because I, I, I'm, I just didn't, I, I got where they were going with it, yeah, and I didn't sure. really feel like watching it. So yeah, Exploitation but, movies have a certain, you know. Right, but yeah. the benefit of that is I'm also not sick of it. So I thought it was hilarious. You know, they'd huh. have all these cliches, and, like, yep. some girl pulls up on a motorcycle, and they have to hop on the back, and, you know, yeah. just... I w- I'm like having cleavage. a good time with it. Yeah, it's just like because you know they were doing it like basically in the first like three minutes you see, you hear fuck or motherfuck for like oh, twenty thousand times. Word. Yeah, which you know it's just like I'm fine with for the most part because I know they're going, but it's just like it gets tiring after a while. Yeah. So that's the co- only thing. It's like the pure gameplay. It's just like it's actually decent. Yeah. It's not amazing, but it's 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 not as I don't I like uh, Resident Evil uh, Umbrella Chronicles a little better. Yes. I like this one better than Ghost Squad. Yes. Definitely. Um, but I, it, it, it did a lot of it just kind of made me miss Time Crisis because what happened mm-hmm. is I rented it mm-hmm. and I played, I think there's six acts. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Six, and, and each one's based, it's like a whole different movie. You know, the whole oh, thing really? is kind of done in a different theme. They'll be like huh, okay. the, the Carnival of Doom and then they'll nice. be like the House of the Dead and the, yeah. they'll do whatever. But um, I think That's I did. The, sorry. Well, whatever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. There's one themed House of the Dead. God. But um, I, I did the first. Uh, I did the first three, mm-hmm. and I kind of got where it was going. Is the thing where it's, you know I, what I mean? Like, and then you I was were like, done? okay, this is a good shooter. Yeah, I get what you did. The mechanics are fun, but yeah. it's not one of these things where with time crisis, I'm like, I'm gonna fucking beat it. I have to beat it. It's awesome. Interesting. Huh. I'm just like, I get it. See, I got it after the first. I finished the first act, and I'm yeah. like, all right, yeah, cool. I'm I'm done. Yeah, but it's just like I didn't really necessarily say like I, that time that I spent was wasted. Yeah, but it's just like yeah. Yeah, that's that's so, that's kind of how I feel about it too. So. Yeah. For for a Wii shooter, it is a good game. It is it is yeah. a well done Wii shooter? If you I really definitely want a wouldn't shooter, say yeah. you want to buy it. At no, all. no, at it's, all. It's very renty. This it's is one of the very the... very renty because the thing is, is if you're if you're looking for a solid replayable shooter, you're going to want to play more time crisis sort of games. Yeah. Well, if, on the Wii, I would I would definitely pick a Resident Evil. Yeah. Um, probably maybe Ghost Squad. I don't know if that was fully replayable though. Uh, yeah. It was more renty too. I think. Right. To me. So um, I I would say I would say thumbs up rental, but it's nothing special. I mean, with yeah. all the other games that are coming out, I can't say that this is bad because of how well done it is. Yeah, but it's just like. I'm just gonna say you, like rent it, just yeah. like rent it if if you're into that. But for me, the style totally put, put so me. I mean, off it's kind of a thumbs down for you then, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, thumbs like, down rent. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. I I I think it was a it was a thumbs up rent, but doesn't happen often. 
but it's certainly it's certainly nothing special. Nah. Um, and if you're not into the the House of the Dead in the arcade, then it's definitely yeah, not. Yeah, don't a, even not don't even go. bother. So uh, we actually have a bunch of new releases. This, dude, these past weeks have been crazy. I know. Um, it's one of those things where you and I will be talking online and like, yeah, I'm playing whatever, and you're like, oh shit. Tomorrow is 50 Cent coming out. <laughs> like, seriously, 50 Cent snuck up on me. Like, yeah. I didn't even realize I have to go buy it tonight. I know. It's, it's just, it came out yesterday. I, well, like, not only that, like, I have to do Dead Rising. Yeah. So, Dead Rising. Oh, my God. And it's just like, I've been playing, uh, so we got, a, we got a beta copy, we got a review copy of Puzzle Quest. Yep. I've been playing the shit out of that. Yeah, well, let's, let's just go through Yeah, let's like, go through quick. the so, list. So, like, Killzone 2, Killzone um, 2. I'm renting it this week. I will if be I can renting find this. It. Yep, on, uh, but, on Friday, I'm definitely renting it, and I'm yes. hoping it's awesome, because... Yeah. I have no bias against it. I thought that it was interesting. I thought it was really pretty. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see more. Yes. But play, playing wise, so I'm, yeah. I'm very excited to try it out. But I'm not going to buy it at launch. Oh hell no! Uh, next up, fifty, 50 cent, cent uh, blood in the sand. Renting it. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a little worried. Uh, I don't know. Part of me wants to buy it just because it's it's the it. game of the year. Fifty yeah. cent. <laughs> no, deadly um, creatures is going to be the game yes, of the year. I don't, yes. This one. It looks pretty good, but yeah. we'll see. We'll so, see. Um, and the next up is Dead Rising Chop Till You Drop. Yeah, so this is the one. Remember I was telling you, like, yep. like uh, they t- Capcom... Fixing the things that I didn't like. So, But those are the things I liked. So I want us to both play it and then basically say... Yeah, see how it compares. Yeah, see, see if you now dislike it while I'm thinking it's awesome. Yeah, because yeah. they, they changed the save system. So before it was a very punishing save system. Where very. You, always, you had one save slot. You always had to go to a bathroom. Yes. Um, and there would be like two bathrooms in the entire goddamn yeah, mall. Yeah, basically, it's like what? Yeah. Uh, and the other thing was the uh, the whole weird time limit of being able to do all the things, and you couldn't end up saving some of the survivors. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So now every survivor thing that you need to save has its own timer. Mm. So you got to save that one survivor in a certain mm. amount of time. So it's 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 much more casual. Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. I know that's how Tobin I don't, likes I don't to like roll. you calling it casual. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like I don't like the uh, what you're the insinuating. <laughs> Um, so I'm excited about that just to retry it again because I love Dead Rising yes um, and the next up is Puzzle Quest Galactrix Dude. which we liked very much when we played at its launch party and we have these review copies I've been playing, I played three hours last night dude it's like it crack was, it is crack it it's, is like crack and it's cheap as balls yeah 20 bucks on Steam and I don't even know how much 20 bucks on DS yes uh, yeah, this, I think it's might be 30 on Steam, on Steam. I think it's 20 on Steam. It's either 20 or 30, but the point yeah. is, uh, for what it is, this game is is, is a steal at half the price. So yes. um, We will cover it. To we're digging that. Definitely. And then last up is, what's up with this Quake Live? So Quake Live, um, my understanding is that uh, id decided that we want to get in on the, the free game market. Yeah. So they, they went and took Quake 3, ported it to a web browser, so you can play it within a web browser. Yeah. Uh, online against you know thousands of people. But is this one of these things where they're trying to do like the Asian model of yeah no, I'm no playing Quake Three online and I'm gonna do a microtransaction. No so I'm gonna buy like a pink dress nope. to wear. All ads. So in game, uh, certain walls will be covered cover with, with Burger ads. King, basically. Okay. Yeah. So they're gonna. Mm. Still though, I mean, right? Like after at a certain certain point, you're gonna be like whatever. Yes, that's the thing. I mean, the, the, the ad model, they obviously put this into development before the economy completely exploded. They're like, ads are everything. Ads will pay for everything. And then it's just like they come out with this now like, fuck. Well, they had to keep doing it, right? I just hope they don't do stuff, stupid stuff like, you know, like themed. We'll be with- bigger than Second Life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably will be, actually. Yeah, yeah, um, true. So, so is NoobTube. <laughs> But no, I really oh. hope they don't do stupid stuff like, okay, here's your rocket launcher themed with Subway. Have you ever seen those, those things where like all of a sudden you have a sandwich in your hand? No. <laughs> well, is no, this a joke? No, it was, it was a joke that Joystick did where basically oh. with, with in-game ads and you see Subway ads all over Counter-Strike. Yeah. And then you got and a gun. gun as a sandwich. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So I hope they don't go that route. I hope they do, actually. I want a fucking sandwich. I want to yeah. shoot people with condiments. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's ketchup. That's right. Fucking guacamole on your face, bitch. Yeah. Um, um, so that so, is that. Yeah. So is that out? Is Quick Life out? Already? Uh, it just opened today or yesterday. For, okay. For the, so the beta's been out for a while, but I'll it's now that. public. I'll try that. I'm very curious as to how the shooter works in a browser. Dude, I love Quake 3. Do you know how many hours and hours I spent on Quake 3? Me too. Um, yeah. Quake 3 Arena. Like, yeah. Yeah. It was huge. Yep. Absolutely huge. So, Whoa, next up. Site news. Yep, site news. <clears throat> so, we, so, Pokey Sticks has been hooking us up. Yeah. Uh, so, so, we have uh, we have an iTunes feed for yep. our videos. So, go check it out if you uh, want to watch NoobTube on your... Uh, both. We have both video and audio. So, yes. people, a lot of people are like, oh, I found you on iTunes, but I want the video. No, no, we're both there. Yes. Just search for NoobTube in the power search under the podcast, yep. and you'll see it right there. The one with the little TV beside it is yep. NoobTube Video. And it even says NoobTube Videos and NoobTube. 
Yeah, it's uh, so pretty yes, clear. It's pretty clear. Uh, so go, and basically, uh, we didn't have as much time to encode everything to be M4V yeah. to post everything up. So we've been you know looking for help. And Pokestick said, you know, hey, I'll encode everything. I'll do everything. And she's been posting. And it's been awesome. Yep. So thank so you, thank very, you much, very much, Pokestick. She's been running the video feed for us. She's the video feed. Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a matrix. Yes. And um, uh, April. April. Dude, big so news. Big news. Big, big news. We've been talking about this before. So we are going to Japan for all of April. Well, you're going for all of April. I'm going for most, like, half of April. Right. So uh, what we need is we're going to have to do some call ins. In the next two weeks, we're going to start yep. doing call ins uh, because we're going to record a normal episode and a call in episode so you guys will have something to watch while we're in Japan. Exactly. So it'll be the, for the first two weeks, and I think uh, for the rest of the weeks of, of April, uh, we're going to be taking a lot of video while we're yep. there. We may, you know, just random stuff. We'll probably be releasing little videos of that. But what we need to know is like, we need to know what you guys are interested in because yes. call ins, we can do for about half an hour, and yep. then that's about it. So, yeah. so, so uh, what we want is we want some themes. We want uh, what kind of stuff do you guys want to talk about if we're going to have call in stuff? And also, so, mm-hmm. what kind of stuff do you want to see us do in Japan? Like, if you've oh, got, absolutely. If you've got yeah, s- yeah, yeah. stuff that you're really interested in, let us know uh, what kind of stuff. If you want to see more arcades, if you want to see yep. the shooters, you want to see the rhythm games. I mean, we're going to get video of everything. Pretty much. But, uh, you know, what we need right now is feedback from you guys because we need to build up uh, our episodes yeah. so we can show stuff to you guys in April while we're gone. Yes, all of April. It's basically the content is up to you guys yes. for the most part. So. so, and I've been thinking it'd be kind of fun for you guys to send in a little bit more of, of gaming video you about yourselves too so I mean mm, if you've yeah, got yeah. good questions good comments send those in but if you have a local arcade that you guys like to play yeah, at if you have awesome. a local like D&D game that you guys play I mean seriously just anything, anything that's gaming, really. gaming in your life that you yeah. think is interesting that other people might not have seen send in video of that because we'll play it during the call-in show absolutely so uh, we'll get everything all set up, and uh, we're really hoping to get a lot of footage, basically, a lot so of that footage. you guys are uh, not going to, you know, you guys, you guys got to have your fix in yeah. April, so. April will be, be awesome. Uh, we're going to be living in Japan. Uh, we're putting up videos on YouTube. You guys get to watch our progress through all the sake in Japan. Oh, Jesus. It's going to be an adventure. It's going to be crazy. There are, like, what, eight arcades on our list to go to, oh, our little Google yeah. map of yeah. stuff. Oh, it's going to be ridiculous. Oh, it's going to be great. So. Oh. Japan! <laughs> um, yes. Next up is Member of the Week. Yes, new to Member of the Week is done by Crimson, uh, number 37 this week. Last week's winner is Doom AK-47. Yes. For something not gaming related. Global warming yes. post. Yeah, we have serious discussions on yeah. new to forums. This isn't off topic, right? Off the, uh, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Culture, um, so right? he was. Uh, so so he basically made a post uh, that kicked off a discussion about global warming. Yeah, it's very lots of lots of discussion going on there. So yeah. go check it out. So we we you know we like to think of ourselves as somewhat different of a forum community that yep. uh, a little bit a little bit higher than our you know. Game facts crowd. That's of right. Like, Fuck you. You know, random we shit, so. we keep the bar high. We will. You know, we we ban people for being dicks. Yep. We you know, and and the thing is, is the intelligence that comes out of the NoobTube community is surprising to us every day. The forums where people will start great threads on stuff. Um, they'll have. We've got help topics. We've got off-topic yeah. topics. Off, off, topic, 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 off, topics, off topics, off, off yes. topic, topics. Media. We, you can go there and talk about anything. Music, anything. movies, like anything geek related and a ton of gaming. And stuff, you'll find so. other people that are just as interested as you. I mean, like over time, we've had interesting discussions in off topic that I've oh, gotten yeah. involved in when people discuss the role of government, yeah, gun firearms, control. gun yeah. control. I mean, like people <laughs> get into the shit and it's awesome. I mean, like this yeah. is what everything's all about. You know, you interact with other people, you talk about things you have in common or don't have in common, you keep it civil, mm-hmm. and you enjoy yourself. Exactly. That's one of the things. Like, you can, you can actually have a serious discussion on religion with actually having, having it delve into just randomness. Like on without, f- without calling each other names. Yeah. And I'm who proud, knew? Yeah, who knew? I'm proud of yes. the whole community We're for being able to keep the guys. bar high. So, right. next up. MMO Invasion! Yeah, what is it this year? This so, month. Uh, starting March 1st, mm-hmm. we are doing the NoobTube MMO Invasion of City of Heroes, yeah, so which yeah. is a superhero-themed... Yeah, and I, play, I played it uh, quite a bit. Did yeah. you play it at all? I, I played I it for played about a some. month. It's a, it's a fun game for about it a is. month. Yeah. Content-wise, there's not much... After, maybe there's more now, but before yeah. it was just like, well, I'm doing the same shit over and over again. Like, wow, I'm crafting a cape. That's not very yeah, fun. There's not even that. There's no crafting. <laughs> there's know. no loot. It's, it, anyhow, yeah. it's like... It's uh, but it's interesting, and we're going to go in and, you know... Uh, the fun thing about it is that we actually oh shit the, the, wow. the end of it's this Saturday so this will so it's be already happened yeah so right. it happened so you guys already, you guys already missed it but uh, what happened this Saturday was the Tabula <laughs> Rasa we watched the end of the world happen Dude, wasn't it was, that awesome oh my god it's oh. crazy yeah there was like fireworks the, Nymphs, yeah, big dragons. Tit, it was, it, we got, we all got killed by a tit avalanche. Yeah, that, there was that hurts. boobs. I know it from was the sky. Ridiculous. Like if they, they said, if you're gonna it. go, 
That's what better way to, way to go than boob avalanche? Exactly. And we'll have videos coming up, I'm sure, shortly. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so, so City of Heroes, March 1st. Everybody hop online. Hop on the Ventrilla server. Yep. We're going to have a good time. Uh, and last up, we have Dawn of War 2 Righteous Fury. Oh, it's a, sorry, oh, real sorry. quick. I don't think yeah. we mentioned the MMO Invasion. We sign up for – everybody signs up for a one-week free pass. This is, you don't have yeah, to – yeah, If you really anymore. like it, you can go and pay. You but shouldn't. The MMO but, Invasion is everybody signs up for a free, free pass and then goes and plays together for two weeks. Yeah, because that's okay. usually what it gets. And I think uh, there's already a bunch of plans. I hope we do Eve at some point. We do some yes. other ones, so it's going to be yes. awesome. Uh, so Dawn, last. Yeah, Dawn of War 2 Righteous Fury. Uh, it's going to be March 8th. It's a bunch of uh, one-on-ones, three-on-threes. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. so excited. It will be a massive of death orgy. Yes, I have a feel, feeling I'm going to lose a lot. Probably so. So March yes. 8th, put it in your calendars. Uh, if you come to NoobTube.com, we've got a whole list of yeah. all these events that are going on every and week. The event subforum. The event subforum, and there's usually little themed uh, uh, graphics, too, when, yeah. when we've got events coming up, which is really cool. Yeah, Sunflower's so, Dojo is up there right now. Yeah. So, uh, so yes, absolutely. So Dawn of War 2 is going to be sick. Dude. March 8th. Um, we should put like we should have like a, a NoobTube uh, Google Calendar. Well, we have the calendar on the forums, but it's just like people have to kind of sign up. But yeah, I think some sort of other calendar where people can say like, okay, what does my gaming month look like? This yes, month, you know? we can we totally should... make that happen oh, too. Yeah. Let's, let's look into that. So uh, first up, we've got Mex Tex. Not Tex Mex? Not Tex Mex. Mex Tex. He's, well, he, the thing is he Maybe likes Tex Mex, but he's dyslexic. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Maybe he's more Mexican than Texan. Uh, the other like side of the Rio Grande. 60% Mex, yeah. 40% Tex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mex Tex. Hey, Noob Tube, it's Next Text from the forum. Uh, I was wondering, have y'all seen the latest trailer video thing of uh, Lost Planet 2? I think it looks badass. I'm stoked. Ah, man, that looks freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, so I was wondering what y'all think of it. I can't wait, but it's just another game that I want to get that I won't be able to get because... I would be broke and poor whenever it comes out because I'm always broke and poor. Let me know what y'all think. Yow. Did you get a job? Oh, I know. Why don't you steal job? from somebody? <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, Lost Planet. So, uh, while we're chatting about two. this, I'm gonna, Lost Planet 2, I'm going to go ahead and play some video clips oh, while yeah. we're talking about this because. Holy oh, crap. Jesus Christ. This game looks amazing. So before I was I, like Lost Planet looked pretty good, but it was like always in snow. Yes. So you'd go there and you'd see some red glows occasionally. You have a max. It'd be, be kind of neat. It yeah. looked really good for its time, but dude. By the time you were done playing Lost Planet, you were yeah. kind of done with the snow. You were yeah. just like, ah, I'm a little sick of a it. lot of snow. Yeah. And you couldn't really go away from snow very much no. because the whole point was you were always cold. And, yeah. You know, you had to and the, yeah. You had, you, well, that's the funny thing is one of the key fundamental <laughs> aspects was that you're always getting energy to keep your heat up. Yep. Uh, so they're going to have to kind of throw this away because now they're yeah. in the jungle. Maybe it's really hot. Yes. Yeah, so maybe maybe you like cool yourself. Keep your air conditioning on. <laughs> but I thought that that was a very huh. interesting element in yeah. Lost Planet that you're running around and it's just like all the time you're like... Yeah, there was kind of this weird sense of like this weird pressure, downward pressure to always kind of be doing something, which yeah. I don't know if I liked or not, but it definitely made the game interesting. Absolutely. Um, so this game, you're in, the, you're in the desert, you're on swamps, you're... Yeah. Is it the in same the planet? I'm assuming it is. Who knows? Yeah, probably. Because, I mean, all ev- all the monsters have these red glowy spots, so yeah. obviously the whole yeah. evolution has to... But there is some sick shit in the trailer. I don't know if we're going to get to oh, it dude. in the trailer. I'm showing yeah. you guys because the it's last, in separate last clips, bit, yeah. but there's this last bit where oh, there's this ultra-mega fuck-you monster that comes out of the ground, yeah. and the dudes start rappelling up onto it, and they're mm-hmm. shooting the glowy bits it's jumping up back. and down. You're trying to shoot. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this game, yeah. It looks pretty sick. So, uh, yes, we're very excited. I don't think it has a release date yet. It was basically just an announcement think, yeah. trailer that it's going to happen someday. Do you think it's this year? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, I'm hoping, like, also, the multi- I hope the multiplayer aspect will be good, too, because remember with that one, that little video of the one guy, he thinks out the shield? Yes. Yeah, so if you have team base, it's like, oh, you're the shield guy. Yes. Right? And you go and it's like, That's, awesome. that, that was very interesting. Cover, I, yeah. I, liked, I liked that little element because you could see that, that – it, it, they put a lot of thought into kind of how to how to do defense and cover. Where yeah, you actually, cover. Yeah. A lot of people are, are really thinking about how to do squad based stuff better these mm-hmm. days. Where you know they, they're kind of moving from the team fortress model, mm-hmm. and they're seeing that it's possible to work together. Yep. Um, and you get somebody who like their only job is to carry that damn shield around. It's <laughs> like it takes a special kind of person to be a medic. Yeah, yeah. It takes a special kind of person to be shield dude. Yeah. So I'll but, be the I'm gonna be the guy shooting shit. So yeah. I don't whatever whatever role that is. Yeah. 
Need somebody else to be your goose. <laughs> I can't um, make that sound. No, you got to get the teeth clump. Uh, uh, all right. Oh, so next up, audiophile, audiophile yeah. has a game recommendation for us. Hey, audiophile from the forums, just letting you guys know. You guys know you should definitely check out uh, Hawks, Tom Clancy's Hawks. It's an amazing new. Uh, was it airplane fighter? Got the a couple new aspects like the kind of Call of Duty way they've been doing like the experience system. Like um, you know, <laughs> the uh, plus ten for kills and all that, but it's got that in a whole new me- like uh, combat mechanic. I'm loving it. Anyway, just letting you know. See you out. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, uh, so I haven't I haven't heard all that much about so, this. So Hawks, my understanding is it's, it's like a, a dog fighting. It's game. a dog fighting. It's a it's an airplane which we we haven't seen very many in a long mm. time. You know what I mean? Uh, well, there's Ace Combat. I did not like Ace that. Combat was God, shit. Was boring. Yeah. Boring as all hell. Uh, but this was one, Operation Midway or Battle Battle Midway. Oh God, that was terrible. <laughs> which was like beyond bad. What was, yeah, that was, was like really you were controlling bad. the air bases and then you could switch into the pilot yeah. mode and you're flying doing nothing. It was like an RTS where you can control yeah, like each of all the guys. Oh, that was terrible. Was no. so bad. Like, I'm trying to think of like what was a good air combat game. Wing Commander. <laughs> X Wing versus Tie Fighter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it hasn't. It, Wing Commander Two was awesome. I mean, seriously. Yeah. Like, huh. I haven't enjoyed games. I mean, back in the day, flying I played those games. I played the the flying games. I played like uh, Microsoft Flight, Flight, Flight Simulator. Simulator. Yep. Yeah. But you know, in terms of in terms of a good dog fighting game, I don't think I've ever played them. There's a. I'm just trying to. Th- I can't think of one since and, since that era. And yeah. to, to get a little geeky for a second, yeah. I've actually always dreamed about having a good dog fighter. Because of um, uh, a William Gibson short story, there's this short story William Gibson yeah. wrote from uh, it wasn't from uh, Burning Chrome. It was from his collection of short stories. Maybe it was Burning Chrome, where yeah. there was this guy who they would they would put on these little skull caps and they would control these uh, these kind of like holographic air yeah. battles in front of them, and it was so cool the way that I William Gibson described that. it yeah. that I've always wanted to have a good dogfighter game. Huh. Uh, if you guys haven't read uh, William Gibson short stories, I yeah, highly, highly recommend them. Very good stuff. But uh, I'm definitely gonna check this out. Sounds good. Uh, well, apparently the demo has been out for a while, so I, I, I downloaded it, but I haven't got. It's on 360. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so go check it out. I'm kind of excited about, it, especially the fact that he said the Call of Duty plus ten per kill. Yeah, as soon that as, just as like, soon as you, like, you know, you're you're kind of drifting off. Yeah, you're like, oh, dog like, fight like, a Call of Duty. What? what? No, I'm serious. It's just like I don't understand why more people don't copy this very basic mechanism of you shoot people, you get experience points, just like in D and D from you level thirty, up. and you level up, yeah. and you get a new weapon, you get a new skill. It's just like do that with an FPS. It just makes perfect sense. Yeah. Because I would, I played Call of Duty World of War, which isn't that good of a game, but I played that for like. 30 hours? Yeah. But just because of the fact that I was leveling up. Leveling up, yeah. I mean, the, the, I mean, the thing is, the people who get really, really obsessed with the Call of Duty, they're always talking about, oh, I'm about to get my first... Uh, prestige. Prestige. Yep. Like, I don't know if I should trade in my prestige. No, well, dude, you got to. If you don't, you're lame, basically. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's like, you get there, you can be there, and you'd be constantly there, but you're never earning anything new. Yeah. And the whole point of, at least for me, the whole point of getting it is just like, I got a new weapon, I got a new weapon. It's just like, you got to just wipe the slate. Yeah. And, and then you have, that, little dot. Well, you have the little dot, you're like, fuck yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. So. Is there a max number of dots? Here? Yeah, so like I think if you prestige ten times, this is Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty uh, yeah. four. I'm assuming what will but like after ten prestige, it's just a big dong. <laughs> you're just like I've got the biggest like two, dick. two balls yeah, basically. Just, I've got the biggest balls in the whole. Yes. I've played this game for eight hundred hours. I think it's golden balls. I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right. It's an achievement. Yes, <laughs> nuts of steel. Or actually, the virginity award. Like um, what's so- a girl <laughs> achievements? Like what's a girl? <laughs> Bing. No, it's like, you know, what is it, the Venus symbol with a question mark? <laughs> it's just like we were talking about the chastity yeah. rings before, where the oh, chastity <laughs> rings is just like, it's just like a little unhappy face. Yeah. Or it's like what you were saying. Like, <laughs> it's just like lotion and Lotion Kleenex. and Kleenex. <laughs> I'm chased. <laughs> oh, uh, Jonas Brothers. His Wikipedia tells you so much. Seriously, you know the first um, time they have sex, they're going to blow a hole out the girl's <laughs> back. <laughs> No, like those things are fucking fake. I'm sure. <laughs> Can you imagine yeah, if you seriously. like have like five billion girls like just throwing their vagina? Yeah, at you and you're just like, like no, no, no. vagina. What? Uh, Not just, like, until I'm married. It's like fuck no. What? No one has that much self control. Um, mm. And then last up is Eastman with a question about game numbering. Yes. Hey, Tobin Nuzo, uh, Eastman here with the video question. Um, I'll just get straight to the point. Do you think that game series like Call of Duty or even Mega Man Final Fantasy should just stop where they are with their excessive numbering? I mean, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, fucking bad name. Or we're coming up on Final Fantasy, haha, final, 13, I think it's 13. And it's just like, ah! Mega Man, I think, has the excuse of 
they kind of built upon that and people don't give a shit anymore. But personally, it's like, if the next Call of Duty game is like Call of Duty 6, I'll still probably get it, but it's like, should they just end the series and start something, you know, new? Like, you know, something similar, just rehash it, rename it? Or should they just keep continuing going? Yeah, not ya. Yeah. That's right. I don't. I don't know if people give uh, Mega Man that much of a of a, a thing because if you look at all the Mega Man series, there's Mega Man X, yeah. Mega Man Rush, Mega Man is fucking dog. You know, yeah. I mean, there's like there's five billion different Mega series. Mega Man does Dallas. Does Dallas, and the, each one of those has has multiple sequels. Yeah. So that's. I mean, the thing is, is you're a game developer. You develop a franchise. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You have you have three choices, right? You've got numbering. Yep. You've got year numbering. Oh, that's I, that's ridiculous. That is that is death. <laughs> Can you imagine like Dead Space two thousand nine or like it's awful. Bioshock two thousand ten? It makes Ooh. you feel bad. You're just like that's gross because yeah. that's what the sports franchises do because it makes sense because that year are the people that really played that fucking sport. Yeah. But this is like. Dead Space is supposed to be 4,000 years in the future in, like, Dead Space 2009. You're like, what? What? That, see, that doesn't make any sense. And Obviously, the third that, one is, uh, is, is naming. Without numbers. Right. So it would be, like, Dead Space colon ass fuckery. Yeah. Dead Space colon tries anal. <laughs> Dead Space colon, yeah. It's like tentacle rape. Right. Tentacle um, rape. So, I mean, th- but, and that's not bad. That's not bad. But then people start getting confused if you have, like, exactly. 10 of them. Well, well, no, but the big confusion right now is the fact with Call of Duty, you have Treyarch doing their kind of shittier versions yeah. of it in World War II, or, like, yeah. tired versions, whatever. And then you have, Tre- uh, sorry, Infinity War doing their amazing, fucking awesome versions right. called Modern Combat. So how do you distinguish between the two where people are like, dude, you know, I didn't like World at War that much, but I really like Call of Duty 4 colon Modern Combat. Yeah. So, in all honesty, I honestly don't know what if I was Activision, what I would have done. It was just right. like, I have a choice. I can call it Call of Duty, colon, Modern Combat 2, which kind of sucks. Yeah. But you, you don't want to call it Call of Duty 6, because World of War fucked everything up. Right. That's the thing. Is as soon as they left the numbering scheme yeah. behind, all of a sudden, they've just kind of opened themselves up to a world of pain. Where yeah. <laughs> now, you've, now they're like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. what do we do with numbers now? Because we've, we've started numbering the, the numbers. You know, yeah. Like, call it you know, World of War 2 or whatever. Is that like, what they're going to do next year? What do I do? But no, seriously, like you can't call it Call of Duty. Because then they're gonna have like Modern- Call of Duty three, World at War, or Call of Duty World at War two, then something else like col- <laughs> colon the return or something. Oh, what like, happens huh? if Treyarch decides to not do World War two anymore? Right. Do they do Vietnam? <laughs> so Call of Duty col- colon World at War two colon, colon Vietnam. Vietnam. <laughs> that would be awesome. It's, it, it just gets absurd, you know. Yeah. Like, and, and at some point they they do what they did with Friday the Thirteenth, or they do with yeah, they Fast and the Furious, they reboot, and they'll be like <laughs> Call of Duty. Period. <laughs> <laughs> the call and the duty. Yes. No, no, remember, it's just like, let's just start taking away words. Yeah. Call. Yeah. <laughs> duty. I'm going to go play some duty. <laughs> the duty and the furious. Yes, I, honestly, <laughs> what do you do? Bro, seriously, if you're a game developer, what do you do at that point? I don't know. Because the thing is, you, you can't get rid of the name. There's right. no way. There's so much it's brand loyalty. Much like the people that, that went and bought Guitar Hero, yeah. they did it purely based on the name. So the, mm-hmm. fall, the, the fact that they call it Guitar Hero colon World Tour... It's like that's just, that people are just going to buy it. Guitar Hero World at War 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We don't know. We got no solutions. Thank God this is not our problem. No. Um, but the only thing we can say for sure is don't do the year numbering. No, please don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> and don't do, don't do the Treyarch Infinity War thing because that's you, – you're, you've, Yeah, you're, you just you're get in a, confused. You're, you're in a hole. They yeah. have to do Call of Duty Modern Combat 2. Yeah. Which is stupid. That's dumb. <laughs> no, 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 Call of Duty Moderner Combat. Moderner. <laughs> Too fast, too modern. <laughs> Tokyo Drift. <Yes. laughs> Call of Duty 4, Tokyo Drift. All right, yes. we're, done. we're done. So that is our show for the week, folks. Check out our website at noobtube.com and participate in our forums by clicking on the community tab at the top of the front page. Yes, if you're watching the video on YouTube, there's a subscription button right over there. It's big yellow. Please click it. We're almost 13,000. And uh, also read the video with five stars by rubbing Tobin's junk harder. F- five balls, five furious. <laughs> As long as this episode, I'm using Watanabe. And I'm Tobu Kazai. Our audio engineering for NoobTube is done by Range Purity Ring Strunk. Thanks for listening. We'll see you all next week. Right. See ya. The Toys R Us, we have discovered Lucian has a secret gift. Hi, my name's Lucian, Prince of Noob Tube. My powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my cardboard sword and yelled, By the power of cardboard! <laughs>
All right, three, two, one. Yeah. From you guys. Three, three, two. Yow. Yow. Good. Awesome.